my little lie A girly I can get cause she don't get too many likes A curly head a cutie I could turn into my wife Hey guys, Wonderfully Awkward here. Guess who just got out the shower? <laughs> um, I just came back home. I graduated college, had a mental breakdown, kind of cut my hair, and now I'm renovating my room. And I don't know if you guys know, but I have a hedgehog. Yeah, his name's Shadow. I was going to do Sonic, but I thought that was too obvious. But his name is Shadow, so I decided, you know what? If I'm fixing up my room, it's only right I fix up his room. After all, I'm going from, like, a small apartment bedroom to mine, which is a lot bigger. Um, I got a new camera, which is what I'm looking, I'm looking at myself right now. I'm not in the lens, but I got a new camera, and the colors, lights, whatever, iOS settings is fluctuating. I'm still messing with it, but your girl's going to California and Mexico, which I'm both hoping to vlog. And basically, I figured might as well figure out my camera before I leave and make him his house before I Because he's getting babysat by my dad. So, um, this video, I'm going to be building an enclosure for my hedgehog. And the thing is, is that, yeah, you can buy cages. That's what I currently have now. Actually, that's a lie. I took a dog cage from my dog and I, like, opened it and I kind of, like, just made it into a cage because, yeah. Anyway, my point being is, yeah, you can buy a cage, but sometimes it's a lot easier to make them. And I can find people making hamster enclosures. I find people making or decorating hedgehog and guinea pigs, but I've never seen anybody make them. Like, you can Google images and get ideas, but, like, I was looking for it. I was like, what kind of gate did they use? What's that plastic thing that they use to protect all this stuff so i figured i'll make it easy for you guys because nobody made it easy for me and yeah bear with me thanks <laughs> like i said my room's a work in progress so please don't judge me on anything like this bed was brown or wood like you know like light brown colored and i painted it and i painted my dresser and all this stuff because your girl's broke and just don't judge me on like the bed sheets and stuff i'll show you my room once it's done so you know this isn't like how because it's a mess right now like i have bags and boxes my tv has a towel on it because it's not ready but um, this is what i'm using to keep him in it's a storage thing that i got from bed bath and beyond for 16 bucks you can google like cages for dogs on amazon like they legit have these on anim <clears throat> they legit have these on amazon recommended for pets but they're like 60 bucks and i found this for 16 bucks so 60 to 16 is a major difference, especially since I'm not trying to keep a dog in. I'm not trying to keep like a cat in. I'm trying to keep a hedgehog. So this is the enclosure that I have so far. It goes out a little bit farther. It's gonna go like, no, actually I think this is as long as I'm making. It's gonna stop right here. Like I just need to build a, build a wall right here or whatever. But yeah, this is what I have so far. So I'm gonna zoom in so you can see me better and we'll continue to build this okay okay actually I'm gonna lift this end up and do it under here so from about here to there is 42 and a half so now we go to this paper and there's not gonna be 42 and a half which means that I'm going to need put two of these together so how long is this thing the long way this thing is 36 and I need 42 and a half so I'm gonna put like 42 in a little letter over here I don't know how wide we should make our fence because this is just as I said before it's what 36 and it needs to be 42 so hmm, how much how how much can we afford to cut off we afford to do our fence is let's see four. he climbs though i know my hedgehog but he can't climb out so should i do four inches wide or should i do six you guys can't see me so i'll go from this side basically i was just like in terms of width let's see so from one end should i do i think i should do five i think five is good so I'm gonna do five wide for every single thing that I do. 28 inches, right? I don't know how long I want this shit to be, but let me mark off 28 inches first. K, 
can't even really see what I'm doing. I apologize for the hard angle. A for effort. Uh, so learn from my mistakes. Don't use a scissor because then your um, lines come out horrible because it is very hard to cut. I'm just going to call it sign paper. It's not the easiest. Um, so basically that's why I did it off camera. I recorded it for a little bit, but once it got to like 50 minutes of me doing nothing, I was like, whatever. So now I'm just cutting the ends of the zip ties off. You don't need to use zip ties. You could probably figure something else out, but I have a bunch of them. So I figured why not? Basically I measured how wide I wanted the fences to be and then the length and width of my cage and I drew a perimeter and then from there... I just made holes where I knew I wanted to connect it to the fence, which if you don't use zip ties, you don't have to do. And then I just put the zip ties through them, and now I'm just cutting them. And then optimistically comes the fun part, which is the decorating. And I already wiped this down, but I'm going to wipe it down again because, you know, I'm going to put my hedgehog in here. I'm trying to figure out if I should use his normal bedding because... Not his normal bedding, but he's potty trained, so I just use fleece for him. So I'm trying to figure out if I should still use his normal fleece, which is just a plain gray color, because that's my favorite color, and that's going to be the theme for my bedroom, so it makes sense. Or if I should use the pretty new fleece that I got him. I know, you guys probably don't care. I'm just trying to start a discussion while I clean up my mess a little bit, okay, okay. So I'm going to use a natural cleaner and wipe down some of this. This is the new bedding that I got him though. It's fleece, so he's safe. It's actually meant for pets too. See, luxury pet bed. I was just gonna put under here. But um, also, I know that I'm not done with my room, so I kinda want that to be the blanket that I use to signify the fact that everything's, the, you know what I mean? So I think I just might use the gray. What I noticed about having a hedgehog is that finding I cleaned earlier, so it's not really dirty. But he does takes care of animals differently. Like some people take the food out the hedgehog's cage enclosure, and I don't, cause he's very good at having self. I don't know what's the word when people have power to not. He has very good self restraint for an animal. Okay, more than me. I eat with my eyes. If I see something, I want it. So, I have a blanket that I normally use for him. I think I'm just going to use this for now. It's just, I have a bunch of stuff for you, and you choose to go under. You know what I mean? So, decorating is the fun part. This is just me being me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you guys have blankets that are long enough, and you don't have to worry about this, then that's great. Like, you go boy or girl. But I do because my stuff for him is not... I like this better. So I think I'm going to double fold this one. Because this one is really loose. Two plat, two plat. When I cry. I feel like my butt's in the... Ca okay, no it's not. <laughs> well, this at least. The other blanket's longer. But yeah, so... This is what I have. Like I said, you live and you learn. Hand on hand. Like, he can touch you, but you can't initiate the conversation. I don't even know how to explain it, basically. Like, he, pick, I pick him up when he wants me to pick him up. But now, comes to decorations. Let's see. I have this little, this little area. Look, I have this little cuddle shack with the hedgehogs on it that match the interior. Um... I got something and it was for a hamster, but I figured why not see if it works for a hedgehog too. Yeah, this is a toy. <laughs> and another toy. And he has a toy in his cage too, another one that has a bell. He's gonna go under this, but whatever for now, it's fine. I'm sorry, you're gonna keep on hearing me say that because I really don't want him to go under it, but there's nothing I can do about that right now until I get a bigger blanket and I have one but we'll see okay so like i ordered things that said like for hedgehogs ah my back what the heck i ordered things that were like intended for guinea pigs or things that i thought were big enough for him to actually like go on and such so 
I'm not sure if any of this will work, but we'll see. If not, it's for my future pets. Um, is not. Hmm. I could probably use twist ties for it. Because I was going to say, they gave me these nuts and bolts. And it's not going to work on this cage. Like, that's about everything. I'm going to get his wheel. I'm going to get his wheel and all that fun stuff, okay? Okay. This, I want this to stay open. Like, this thing does not remain open. He's under there. Not even inside, he's under. Let's see. Ew. He pooping. Shadow. <laughs> Say hello. Maya, you're making noise that you scare him. Hi, hi. 